everyone. My name is Adelaide Tam, and I just graduated from the Design Academy Anhofen Food Non-Food Department. The inspiration for my project has its origin from my cultural background. I was born in China and raised up in Hong Kong. Chinese cuisine is very important part of Chinese culture. Color, taste, and smell are three important aspects to describe Chinese food. And the cut of animals also play a very important role. In Chinese culture, we almost consume every part of the animal, and some parts are even considered as delicacy. For example, cow stomach or the duck tongues. But I rarely see this cut of meat in the Netherlands. If people are not eating them, where do they go? During my childhood, it's very common for me to witness the chicken slaughtering. Because my grandmother always slaughtered the chicken herself, and in the market, it's very common for people to buy a live chicken, and the shop will slaughter it in front of the customer. In 2016, 400,000 tons of beef contributed to the market in the Netherlands. How many cows died behind this number? At the same year, I visited Indonesia. And I was very curious about the slaughtering there too. So I decided to investigate the difference in slaughtering between modern society and rural Asian cultures. I found out it's also common for people there to witness the, the process of slaughtering, but they have more religious context. They pray for the cow before it got slaughtered. And every part of the cow is being consumed. Unlike in the West, the production and consumption of beef is very transparent there. That was my first time to see cow slaughtering, but it didn't scare me. It really added to my fascination around cow slaughtering. After Indonesia, I really, really wanted to have a cow for my own. But I don't have money to buy a cow. I don't have enough knowledge for it, and definitely I could not afford to own a cow. So I went to a farm to volunteer to learn how to take care and also milk the cow. I created such a real bond with these beautiful animals, and I could even recognize some of their faces in short period of time. I learned so much from them. And this experience really deepened my fascination with the Western disconnection of the slaughtering process. The mass consumption and production, the production of beef in the modern society, is portrayed in the supermarket with this perfectly clean and cut meat. The slaughtering process is very distant with the consumer, and most of them has no idea how the meat ends up here. I wondered why is the slaughtering process so hidden in the modern society, and how's the value of a cow's life is being perceived in a society where there's mass consumption of beef? Because of the curiosity, I decided to, to investigate and expose myself to the slaughtering for the mass consumption. And I find out the cartridge case on the killing floor when I visited the slaughterhouse. Cartridge case is the leftover material, which used to contain gunpowder to activate the captive bow gun in the stunning process. Each cartridge case represents the life of one cow. How precisely it is calculated, with only 0.9 gram of brass, that the cartridge is made to stun a cow. I want to create awareness around this topic, so I designed a vending machine, which introduced another way to experience the death of an animal, making a parallel between how we perceive the mass-produced paperclip. And how we perceive the life of a cow. 
The reason why I choose Paperclip because it's a mass-produced product, which the identity is gradually disappear in assembly line with millions of others. It's highly accessible, affordable, and eventually uncharitable, like the life of cow in the modern society. The goal of this project is not to promote vegetarianism, but to raise awareness of mass meat consumption in our society, to reflect on how to value the cow's life when we eat beef. A paper clip, a cartridge case, the life of one cow. If you are curious about the experience of the vending machine, you are welcome to the Design Academy graduation show. Thank you.